Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized NZ and it's Tuesday, at least in my world it is, uh, and that means it's Trash Craft Tuesday time. So I take trash and I turn it into something for our journals or our journaling. Uh, so for today I am back working with a window envelope. It's only a couple of weeks since I last did a window envelope. Uh, so I hope that's okay with you guys. But this one's a little bit different. This one is a bit torn up. Um, it's not too bad. Like I've certainly had ones that are worse. And it had a tear off strip here that was torn off. Um, and quite often these imperfect ones I'll just use the inside. Because they're quite often. Uh, let me see if I can describe an example. So here's one here where the it's quite a nice colour, a nice pattern and texture, and it's writable on. So imperfect ones I often just keep for collage. But this one, you know, it's dark blue, wouldn't write on it. It's got this uh, text all over it. So it's not exciting me to use it for collage. Um, it's torn up. It's a bit damaged here at the top where it's torn into the front piece. But I thought, I don't want to discard it. Like, we can still use this. So for today, I want to play with this and see what we can come up with in terms of still being able to utilise this perfectly wonderful envelope that's a free resource because it came in the post. So why not? Why not use it? First off, I'm going to take off this damaged part here because I can't think of how to turn that pretty. I'm sure you probably could somehow, so if you have an idea, then absolutely, you you take it however you want. But I'm going to remove this top part, just to the fold line. Um, so I think that's where the fold line is. And then tear it off where that fold is. So I hope you're all having a good week so far. It's quite cold here today. It's sunny, but it's cold. Um, yeah, which isn't pleasing me. It was warmer when it was raining during the weekend. We had rain during the weekend, and it was it was not too bad. Today it's sunny and it's cold. Go figure. Okay, I've got this little closure flap here that was where it was glued together, and it's actually in pretty good condition. So I'm wondering about leaving this as maybe a little tuck spot. Maybe we could hold something in there. Maybe for now I'm going to leave it. Um, possibly fold it out so we can cover it. And then if we don't end up using it we can trim it off. Okay. So the other piece of trash that I'm working with is I have to show you my haul. Last time I went to my favourite uh, junk shop. It's called Creative Junk. It's in the local city which is about 45 minutes away from me. And they stock a whole lot, well, when I say stock, they have a whole lot of trash that either businesses or households have finished with and given them to sell. And they use it for, like they say, creative things. So they run classes for children and for adults. And you can go in there, grab it, take a bag, like a shopping bag, and fill it for a set price. And it's my favourite, favourite place to go shopping like shopping because it's not your typical shopping place so last time I went I found all this tissue which just was super exciting so let's oh that's not actually tissue this is fabric like interfacing or something it's got that sort of feel um, I did not realize it is actually fabric so I probably won't use that um, but it's super cool I mean there's no reason why I couldn't use it but I'm just I think I'll save it for something else. So anyway, back to the tissue. So there's this super cool white one with silver printing on it. And because it's all like used, primarily used stuff or offcuts or leftovers from manufacturing processes, that sort of thing in this place, you know, you get things like sellotape and bits that you don't want. So... We've got this cool, super cool white and silver. 
we've got this nice sort of um, it's not a bright orange it's a more subdued orange complete with a label there to Jeanette from mum and dad and it's obviously was from Christmas so somebody I think I'm just going to discard the label because I don't think I can save it for anything so we'll just pop that away so there's that cool orange got bundles of this or a large piece anyway of this beautiful deep purple just stunning it's a little faded around the edges uh, but heaps heaps of that it's just gorgeous then this pink which again has got some fading and this is more waxy it's, it's a little bit shiny um, shiny on this side and then matte on that side more like a florist one and then there's this green which has had some bits cut out of it again shiny on one side and matte on the other this cool colour which is a brownie pink brownie red I don't know cool it's a cool colour this beautiful vibrant yellow which is super happy and sunny and in winter I really gravitate towards the warm colours I think it's like in an effort to warm myself up I go for the, the nice warm hot colours then there's this super cool piece with uh, envelopes all over it mail, little notes I love printed tissue I just think it's super cool and then we've got quite a bit of this different orange so it's a different orange to this other orange you see the, the colour difference there um, so yeah quite a bit of this sheets of it multiple sheets so actually what I might do is grab out one sheet and pop the rest down on the floor the hold all place hold the floor out of my way okay I should have done that with the purple as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage this up with the tissue so some of this I don't want to see um, I seem to have gritty bits under somewhere um, like I, I want to cover up this detail and I thought the purple would be the perfect thing because it is dark so let's grab a sheet out of this Isn't it? Oh, it's just beautiful. I love this colour. So rich. And in pretty good condition. So let's put this on the, the hold all place, aka the floor, with the other one. Okay, so let's do a wee test. You can faintly see what's underneath, but it's quite difficult which is great that's exactly what I want so I am just going to start tearing pieces and I'm wondering about putting the glue on my envelope oh, not much left of this glue stick but I have grabbed out another one so we will be fine Oops, thought I'd grabbed it. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? That colour is just so, so stunning. It's making me happy. I'm actually wondering about overlapping around the window a little bit. Let's do it, because when we... So I won't, don't think I'll glue it to the acetate, the window. But when we turn over, we'll see those little hints of the, the tissue. And should, should be a little bit see-through. Maybe the, the lighter colours will be better. Um, let's go for a bit of orange. Oh. Come on, tear for me. And I just want to build up 
layers of the colour. So I know that this uh, text shows through, but I'm just going to keep layering until I'm happy with how it looks. And if I haven't got glue in places, uh, then I'll just go back in and add some more glue. But by the time it's all laid up, it should be okay. It should work for me. So here, I can either tear it, or I can just go in like this and add some glue stick and pop it down. Oops. So let's grab some of this beautiful happy yellow. So this is just one sheet, one big sheet by the feel of it. I'm going, I've got tissue already everywhere. Oops, I'm not supposed to stick to my glue stick tissue. I have a feeling I'm going to get in one awful sticky mess here, but never mind. It's just crafting, isn't it? Just crafting. Okay, so this bit, I'm thinking I'm just going to tear where it's not stuck down. And this is a really nice way to just get a, um, a fun torn edge as well. It's more random than when you like tear a bit of tissue normally. I'll stick this little bit down here because I like that little pointy detail. Okay. Oh, getting all stuck up. And so I will be collaging the inside as well. Uh, possibly not with tissue. I haven't actually thought that far ahead. So let's go with some of this yummy colour. I mean, they're all yummy, aren't they? Super pretty. Now, I think I might go with the... the shiny side down. So I haven't played with tissue like this for quite a long time. I used to do um, things with tissue when I was teaching Sunday school. Really good for making faux stained glass. Although um, the, what's it called? The cellophane, the coloured cellophane works better. But if you can't find the cellophane, then the tissue works really well also. Okay, we've got this little bit of yellow that I tore off. So perhaps we want to... Just put it across like that somehow. Just because I love it. I don't want to waste that little scrap. Awesome. Okay, maybe a little bit more of this orange. I need to bring actually purple, I think, because I put the orange there. I want to make sure I add some of the colours in, you know, a couple of different spots at least. I'm going to have to switch out glue sticks any moment now. Whoops, didn't mean to rip that up. That's the thing with tissue, it is very fine, so it's easy to tear where you don't want to tear it, which is okay. We don't want it quite that far over the window. 
Oops, that bit's going to get thrown away. Can't be rescued that bit because it's all got stuck onto my fingers with glue. Yeah, and just give that a little bit extra up there. Okay, so I still want to cover over this um, this text here. I'm just going to change out my glue page because it's getting quite sticky already, even though I'm not gluing directly onto it. Um, what colour might I want on that patch? I don't want a white because that's not going to really help with the disguising bit. We haven't used this orange. There's a bit of tape. Get rid of that. This is quite see-through too. But we'll just layer it up. And also there's the decorating, so like, don't need to completely cover things up uh, because we can, dec you know, put a label or focal point or something over top, which is probably what I'll do in that particular place there. Oh, it does make me so happy when I'm crafting with trash. I just love how the ideas come, how, you know, you're using stuff that would normally just be biffed end up in landfill or burnt or something okay let's put that down there if i've got enough glue here <clears throat> oh bit of a bit him there from somewhere And where I've put glue where I haven't glued anything down, it's going to dry clear and fine. So let's just grab out a new glue stick. So I'm not fighting with that one now because I'm basically down to the plastic, the rim. Let's just go ahead and stick this piece all down. Awesome. Okay, again, I want to cover this, so I'm going to grab some more purple. Yep, and that covers that nicely. It must be cold. My nose is starting to play out just a moment. I need to give my fingers a wipe. They're all gluey. Right. That's better. They'll get glowy again, but you know. Right, definitely want to bring in some more yellow. Oops, we don't really need the cat fur under our tissue because that will be probably visible. Okay, I think I've still got some glue down there. And then I'm just going to trim around all the edges uh, when I'm when I'm done. Oh, actually, we've got a little corner down there. Have we got a scrap of something? 
maybe this sort of ready color we can pop down if we scrap down in there Cool, and then let's bring in that scrap into there. And this little scrap can go down here. And then let's put yellow in this corner here. I'm having fun. I hope this is fun for you guys. Um, I'm just having fun playing with little scraps of beautiful coloured tissue. I haven't used any of the white or the printed, um, and I don't think I'm going to actually. I'm just having fun playing with this. Now what do we need here? Maybe some of that brighter orange. Have we actually used that orange? I think we have. Oops, I'm getting tissue stuck all over my sleeves. Um, oh, oh, we haven't used any green or pink. Do we want to bring some green in? Let's find out how it's... Oh, we'll just take this, this bit. It's a couple of layers, but that's okay. Onto the floor. Oh, three layers actually. Uh, let's pop a bit of this around in various places. So I'm going to take off the cut bit because I don't want those scallopy edges. This is one of the shiny ones. So let's pop a bit here. And we need a bit more of it, so no, we don't want just that random bit of green stuck there. Do we want to pop some down here? Yes, we do. Why not? Just a little bit down there. Okay, so how are we looking? Let's move the glue book. It's very, oops, got the glue page stuck to the back there. Very hard to tell when it's got all those uh, overhangs, isn't it? Do I dare go in and cut it before it's actually had time to dry? Oh, oh my gosh, my fingers are so gluey. Let's give it another wipe. I'll probably end up with ink all over my fingers because this is my stamp cleaning wipe that I'm using at the moment. Right. Cleared off the glue for now. I'm sure it won't be long before it's all back on my fingers. Okay, let's go in because I really need to clean up so I can see what I'm doing. Hmm, now that's an idea. I'm going to do that. I just hadn't even thought about it. I'm going to wrap it to the inside. Because why not? Why not indeed? So. so it won't be, you know, all the way around, but that's okay. Just wrap around what we can. And that'll give it a fun edge as well. Going to get rid of this page. Everything's sticking to it, including me. Just going to trim off the corners. And uh, how do I want 
to do there, but maybe just to there. And let's go to the corner there and we'll take this corner off. I don't know if I'm on camera. Excuse me if I'm not. Okay, let's get this little bit down here. Actually, I could probably put glue on the tissue now. Now that's going to extend down over the window, which I am perfectly okay with. So it just means we're doing the same thing on both sides with having the tissue over the window. Normally I'd keep clear of the, the window, but because the tissue is, you know, a little bit see-through, I'm not worried. I just think it adds a little something different. Yeah, that so I can get glue on it. Uh, sticky mess, guys. Sticky mess. Oops, did I not get glue on you? How did I not get glue on you? It won't matter anyway because I'll be putting paper over top anyway so it will hold down the edges that haven't perhaps been glued adequately. Um, do I try and fold that little snippet of purple under? I'll try. I'm not sure it's going to be ult ultimately successful but we can try. So this is our, our little flap, which we may end up trimming off. Don't know yet. We'll see how it works. So how do you guys use envelopes that are a bit torn up? Do you still use them? Do you collage with them? Do you bin them? Um, no judgment if you bin them. I have bin some in my life as well totally have um, ones that I thought oh, I don't know how to use that that's too too far gone um, and I was going to do that with this one as well but then I just took a second look at it and thought you know actually we can do something with it because that's what we crafters do particularly junk journalists we use stuff that would normally be thrown out Okay, so I'm just going to tentatively refold that along the crease line where it was. I think that's pretty. Oh no, don't don't stick. Okay, and then this one. I think that works. There's a little tuck spot pocket, but right, it is very sticky, guys. Very very sticky. Um, because tissue is so thin of course that the glue kind of travels through it and because I wasn't careful with where I put, where I put the glue uh, knowing that it will dry uh, it just means that it's a little bit um, sticky <laughs> if I have not really said that it's a little bit sticky um, but I think that's super cool I want to line the inside but my problem is this is quite uh it's actually not bad i wonder if it's this side that's worse okay let's risk it now do i want to put more tissue maybe just a couple of little bits Not the whole, not the whole way round, but just in a couple of little spots before I line it with writing paper. I think I'll use writing paper, paper to be written on. Okay, 
Yep. Sorry, I know I'm reaching under the camera here. Just couldn't be bothered bringing my glue box back across. Nope, no, not there yet. There. And then we've just got a few little bits poking from the other side, which is cool. I like that. Right, let's grab some paper. What do we want? Got some packing paper here, which was being thrown out from my hubby's work. Um, it came in something they received, and the guy who unboxed it, it just kind of balled it all up and threw it in a corner. And normally they would reuse stuff like this, but he just, you know, thrown it in a corner. And so I was there one day and I says, does anyone need that? And he says, no, I just threw it there because I couldn't be bothered dealing with it. And I says, will somebody use it or can I have it? And he says, no, I have it. So I did. And it took me a noisy few minutes to uncrumple it all and fold it. And it's all perforated into sheets like this wide. And so, you know, in the middle of the office, when people are on the phone and stuff, I, I did. I did the crinkly and uncrumpling thing. But it didn't take too long. <laughs> and I d was as quiet as I, you know, as I could be. Right, so I'm going to use this. I was going to use white, but I changed my mind. So hopefully you don't mind the tearing noise. I actually really enjoy the noise of paper tearing. I think it's fun, fun noise. I mean, something's happening. It's very tact tactile noise. Is that a thing? Have I invented a new term? I don't know. I don't know if you understand what I mean, tactile noise. It's like it's it's so crunchy and, and everything that it feels like you can feel the noise. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. It somehow does make sense in my brain anyway. So I've just torn that slight angle. By the time that tucks up, that'll be, yep, that'll be good. Okay, so let's... There we go. Tactile noise. Who ever heard of such a thing before? So we've got an interesting shape going on here. So I'm having to kind of go carefully. About there, and then I've got the window to deal with. Now you could collage it, do it in separate bits. Um, that's probably totally the easier way to go. I'm just playing though, and I thought, well, I'm just going to see if this works. So far, so good. Now the difficult bit is the window. Um, hmm, I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle this. So the uh, about the uh, I'm just feeling trying to feel the ridge under the paper and the uh, so and then I've come in a little bit. So what I want to try and do first, I'll make a to work with we slit and I want to try and tear it out so I'll straighten up the corners
if I need to. Let's see how it fits. Oops, I, did I go down too deep? No, I didn't. That's just the tissue that I put over the edge of the window. Actually, that's not too bad. Is it? That's not too bad. I think that's okay. I don't think I need to actually tear it down even anymore, apart from maybe a little bit here. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now I've just got to glue it and get it down in the right place. So, see I've got a clump of glue on this page, so I'm going to grab a new page. I did press record, didn't I? Yes, I did. Phew. I just had a sudden, sudden, sudden thought that I did not remember pressing record. That would have been very sad. Oops, just glued my desk. Awesome. I'll be cleaning up myself, my desk, my, my mat, my scissors, no doubt. I'll need a clean up as well. Running out of glue, wind it up a bit. Right, now, let's see how we do at getting this lined up and down. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've glued the wrong side. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Okay, not a total loss. Let's just put this bit down here since we went to the trouble of getting the window torn out. I can't believe I did that. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm losing it today guys. I'm just losing it. I am having fun though. Right, now I need to try and tear that off. All that effort of getting it all to the right size and I Gosh dang it, glue the wrong side. Okay, let's just pop this down here. So it's going to be collaged after all. Ah. It was going so well until it didn't. see if we can grab these other oops now my sponge is running away my inking sponge all right let's see if we can plug the gaps with these bits that's the fold there so we probably want to come clear of the fold technically you you would think that these bits would fill the gap but i'm not entirely sure it's going to work out that way Maybe it will. Maybe it will. You can prove me wrong. I don't mind being proved wrong. And look, it just proved me wrong. It is going to work. Well, there we go. That was a little hiccup, but we got there in the end. And it's it's fine. It's just not how I envisaged that going. <laughs> and it's crooked. That's okay. We, we're using trash, people. It does not matter. I'm, I'm convincing myself here. So let's just fold this in. Oh, what's that bit? No, we don't want you there. You can go away. Still a bit wet, a bit tacky on the outside. Right, so we've got overhang here. Let's get that off the brown paper. And where else do we need to clean up? Got cat fur and everything. It wouldn't be me crafting if we didn't have a bit of cat fur and everything. Okay, so I'm happy with that. 
you know hiccups and all it happens doesn't it we can always fix it right just move this tissue kind of into a pile tidier pile, somewhat tidier pile just so I can move um, obviously I'm not going to be inking because my sponge just rolled away on the floor so I'm not going to be inking um, I do want to cover this that still shows what might we want um, some I'm feeling bright and happy like there's beautiful colors going on um, maybe flowers I think it's flowers or birds really um, so into my flowers from Artsology bad what else can we could go white no there's some yellow little pot of yellow flowers is it too small Actually, I think that's quite sweet. Or we've got one here with a rose with a bird, which is lovely. Just looking at how well it shows up, and I'm feeling they're not kind of showing up quite the way I would like. I think I still like this yellow. It's like a primrose or a, something like that. I was going to say petunia. It's not petunia. Totally the wrong flower. Um, that's quite nice too. It's a little bit bigger than the... I think I'm going to go with that. And we'll add some bits and pieces so that it gives it more presence. Because at the moment it's a little bit lost. Um, I'm going to be wanting my labels and I would like to ink around it but I can't I can't even see my sponge so we're not going to be inking probably under the chair or something under the armchair so let's look at what we're going to add to build up this little focal point I just had one other thought. No. No. I'll find a home for that one day. This is how we get scraps because we tear a bit off, then we tear a bit more off, and then we tear a bit more off. And so on it goes. Okay. We want to put some other type of book page. This one's got numbers on. Tearing off the plain edges. That and then I actually think I want text as well. So got a bit of German here. I believe it's German anyway. Uh, probably not that much. Let's try this. Oh, I've still got gluey fingers. Mm. 
Yep, let's go with that. Okay, I'm going to start gluing down, otherwise I'm going to just end up fighting with everything. Um, I like that side better actually, so let's down that way. And there we go, we've got a little bit showing here. It may end up being covered up, but I'm okay if it's not, because uh, it's just a little bit of, it says, you can read New Zealand Post, it says with a little uh, logo on there, but not a biggie. Okay. That goes there. Oh, I should perhaps have used my tacky glue for this because I've got a few cutouts that could gouge my glue. But I think we are okay. I think we got there. Did I say these flowers were from Artsology? I can't even remember. Artsology on Etsy. Okay, like that. Oh, cat fur on my glue. Right, let's see what we might like in terms of a label. Just opening the Velcro off to the side so it wasn't quite up in your face or up in your ears. Right, I'm not sure. Do we want something bright and colourful? Again from Artsology. Um, like this one. Does that compete with the flowers? I think it competes with the flowers. Oh, sorry. Gosh, you'd think I'd learn, wouldn't you, to, to turn that off when I'm going to film. Because I put my phone on silent, but the alarm still goes off, even when it's on silent. There, I think that's better. Adds interest, but it doesn't compete with the flowers. So, or would we prefer, oh, I like it up there too. Ooh, decisions. Let's see. We could put two labels on, you know, it's, it's okay. Here's another bit, different shape from the same page. Actually, I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm going to use both of those. So I'm going to glue those down, and then I've got another idea for this one. Oops, sorry, throwing things around my desk. I'm all excited on how I might just add to this little one down the bottom. I've got a little bit of tissue there that needs gluing down. Actually, I'm going to get that now. and then that label's just going to catch the edge of that tissue so it'll hold it down as well ah everything is super gluey so let's pop that one up there Okay, now I was wondering about stamped numbers down here. Um, actually, those ones probably not. So, obviously, not a giant number two, and that's not stamped, that was cut out of a magazine. Um, one day I'll find a home for it. Just thinking a plain mm, do I like that? It's 
that's not too bad oh i think i need to open the fire back up i shut it down now i'm getting chills all of a sudden just chills do we like that people um sorry i was probably had that off camera um I think maybe that one. I think the brown is is calling to me. Oops, pop that one away. Can't have you running away, little number. Again, I would ink this if my sponge hadn't run away. challenges today that's what we are we've got challenges okay here we go right so how are we going so far i think that's cool i'm happy with how that looks i think it's fun it's colorful we've got our writing space here so we have a little flip out now in terms of using this you could glue it to a page just grabbing a page out so this is a journal page you could have it attached so obviously this is quite tall um, so that this flips out or you could glue it so it's a tuck and then this side flips out like so to write on um, or you could leave it loose and tuck it in a pocket I'm wondering now whether I've made it too tall and I think I have. We could trim it down. We could trim about. It would still be a little too tall. Um, either that or we just wait till we have a big enough journal to use it in. Or we use it in a journal where we have things sticking out the top. That's all fine. I'm going to leave it as is. And then I can always trim it down a little bit if I decide to. Or you could trim it at the bottom and lose the flap or trim it at the top and the bottom. Um, I should have thought about it before I did this, but never mind. And I am going to glue this into a little tuck spot. I'm just going to glue up the sides. And that tissue's not quite stuck down, so a little bit of glue under the tissue as well. There we go. wipe up that glue on my fingers of course and I wonder how I end up so gluey there we go and then you could put a tag or something that shows through the window or you could just glue an image in place so that it permanently shows through with the little tissue surround uh, but I'm going to leave that for now because um, I'm not sure which way I want to go. But I I think that's actually really cute. And fun. And something a little bit different. Just using up that tissue. You know, so if you get presents wrapped in tissue. Or flowers that have tissue around them. Save it up. Use it in your collaging and things. Because it is super pretty. I love that. I think that turned out really nicely with a few hiccups along the way granted but you know it's real life here i only do real life <laughs> as we all do okay thanks so much for joining me today everybody i hope you enjoyed this little project and gave you perhaps a new idea i don't know maybe you knew this idea anyway i will see you back soon for another video take care everybody have a great day